Hello friends, it's Luke the Gamer Duke. Today I'm analyzing an aspect of a game prior to actually playing it, which is a bit different than my usual order of operations. And it's about Helldivers 2. First off, this game looks absolutely sick. It looks like the type of shooter I have been longing for. Everything I've read and seen surrounding the gameplay looks like fantastic fun. And last weekend, I was one click away from joining the fight and... Doing my part too. Except for one glaring item. And protect Game Guard. Now to be transparent, I'm quite unfamiliar with anti-cheat software. And in doing some light research, I was actually surprised at the number of games that have anti-cheat. Though I suppose it makes sense. One thing I can say is the games I played with anti-cheat, such as Halo MCC and Elden Ring, I played on Xbox, not PC. So it's likely I just happened to miss that part of the terms and conditions that everyone definitely reads. But I will also say there are massive functional differences between a gaming console and a computer system, to which I'm sure everyone can agree and can understand skepticism around installing third-party software at the root access level, which is the predicament I currently find myself in. Now I'd like to think at least my nose doesn't hang up in the air as a pretentious know-it-all, but I also think my reservations carry some weight here. Not surrounding anti-cheat software per se, as I do have antivirus software, and any antivirus software worth its salt will also have kernel level access to ensure the deepest darkest secrets of your life, I mean computer systems, stay out of the reach of hacks and viruses which can infiltrate at the root level. For example, I use Bitdefender, as it is one of the more trusted and long-standing antivirus software on the market with consistently positive reviews across the board over a multitude of years. I trust this company with its software in my system based on their positive history. Given this, I'm not opposed to anti-cheat software. Granted, the company has a reputable pedigree. In taking a look back at the game's list with anti-cheat software, something becomes obvious almost immediately within the first couple scrolls. Easy anti-cheat by far stands out as the primary anti-cheat software used. This is because it was picked up by Epic in 2019, then optimized by the gaming company for the gaming industry, and thus far has a solid reputation among the gaming community. Enprotect, by contrast, is owned by Inca Internet of South Korea, whom are apparently lacking a couple, quote, bread and butter cybersecurity certifications, based on some international standard to which I'm sure I'm not near qualified enough to even begin explaining. There are also a couple basic functionality differences between EasyCheat and Enprotect. Both do run at kernel level access, but EasyCheat only begins running when the game is associated with launches, and then ends when the game does, and is also fully uninstalled from your system when the game is uninstalled. Since Enprotect runs independently of any associated game, it launches with your PC system and is always running in the background, and is also not uninstalled with any apparent associated game. Several complaints I've seen states the software doesn't even have an uninstaller.exe. You have to manually find the folder and delete it. Now Arrowhead, to their credit, have apparently optimized and protect to only run when the game launches, end with the game's exit, and to uninstall with the game itself. And in my search for answers, I found a pair of YouTube videos which apparently back up this claim. The channel Troubleshoot provides a short install uninstall demonstration video system 32 which is C Windows system while Mudahar from some ordinary gamers go deep into the nitty gritty of it ring 3 is up over here and ring 0 is the kernel layer so for instance when we talk about user space or the space that you see there does seem to be a lingering folder which needs to be deleted though the driver as far as I understand but this folder shouldn't be active at all I'm not too sure why it's left behind but if we delete this folder it's not in use by anything meaning the anti-cheat is turned off so it does seem Arrowhead have attempted to take steps to ensure better functionality by Enprotect for the gamers though as they explain the reasons for anti-cheat in general I haven't found an official reason as to why they chose Enprotect specifically I've only seen speculation that it may simply have been the cheaper route. There is also one other glaring concern about Enprotect I've seen, which is its interference with other applications, software, and general PC performance. Complaints include slowed performance in hardware overall, random game and software crashes, and even their computer randomly restarting. In their Q&A, Arrowhead states, quote, no noteworthy degradation of performance by testing in regards to general PC performance on their end though I would argue the term noteworthy is quite subjective. Being I use my machine for much, much more than just gaming, this is of particular concern. 
Anyone who's ever had any creative software randomly crash on them understands the absolute rage that comes along with it. Not to mention wasted time, possible corrupted files, the list goes on. Which honestly puts me off dramatically. I actually found a petition on change.org to flat out remove and or replace and protect from Helldivers 2, which has almost 5,000 signatures as of the making of this video. Whether or not this will form any kind of legs is yet to be seen as I have not found an official response from Arrowhead to this. But I did come across a post in Steam regarding possible discussion within Arrowhead to replace Unprotect, as apparent claims that Unprotect is indeed negatively affecting players' hardware, and that cheaters are apparently already finding ways around it. In my opinion, this is something Arrowhead should 100% remedy if possible. The player base has exploded. And I can only imagine the number of people who would buy the game, or reinstall it to join the fight should they announce any sort of change, would be massive. Overall, I am absurdly conflicted here. The amount of discourse around Endprotect and Helldivers 2 seems to be never-ending, with vehement claims on both sides. Obviously take Reddit and Steam posts with a dash of salt, but with so many of them saying the same thing, which also align with a few other places I've seen, I think it deserves some merit. Not to mention, out of the current 303,000 Steam reviews, 52,000 are still negative, with the vast majority of the most popular ones being solely about Endprotect. Even positive takes on the game itself get negative reviews because of it. And I think it's something I simply can't ignore. The game looks absolutely sick and I was dying to get involved. I make attempts to at least avoid knowingly installing any sort of sketchy backgrounded software on my computer, let alone at the root level which has authority to override my own administrative privileges. And the possibility of hardware issues, slowdowns and crashes are also quite concerning. I think, for me, if Arrowhead replaces Endprotect with something like Easy Cheat, I'm there man. I'm all in. I'm on the battlefield accidentally dropping nukes on my teammates with everyone else. But with Endprotect, there seem to be way too many question marks for me to fully trust an Inca internet product installed on my system. But please feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Am I just being a cranky old man here, complaining about the changing times? Or is there a legitimate reason to be concerned about installing Endprotect, even with the apparent optimization Arrowhead has attempted? You'll also find links in the description to everywhere I've attempted to find some answers. Always do your own research, cross-reference as much as possible, and make your own decisions based off of it. Thanks for listening to me rattle off some opinions here, and I'll see you in the next one. Adios. A legend.